I'm presenting question 16 from the senior paper of the 2017 AMC. In this question, you were given a hemispherical bowl half filled to its height with liquid, and you wanted to know how much you could tilt the bowl before the liquid would spill. So the first thing you might want to do in this problem is to draw a cross section of what's going on. And so here is the center of the bowl, and this is going to be your liquid. And so what happens when you tilt the bowl is the liquid is going to stay at the same height. So what we can just do is we can draw the tilted bowl like this. And we want to know the angle between the original bowl and the tilted bowl, which we can call x here. And since both these lines are horizontal, this angle is also equal to x. Now, let's let the radius of the bowl be r then this line is clearly equal to r. But also, if we draw a vertical line, it is also equal to r. But since the liquid is filled to half the height of the bowl, both of these are equal to r on 2. And since this is a vertical line and this is a horizontal line, they must form a right angle here. Now, there are two ways you can proceed from this point. If you're familiar with trigonometry, you can look at this triangle here and say that sine of x, which is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, is equal to r on 2 over r, which is just a half. So this means that x is equal to 30 degrees, which corresponds to option b. Alternatively, if you don't want to use trigonometry, you can add this line here. And if you look at these two triangles here, both these lengths are equal to r on 2, this side is common to both triangles, and both triangles have a right angle here. So these two triangles must be congruent. Therefore, this length here is equal to that length, which is just r, and this angle here is equal to that angle, which is x. Now, if you look at this big triangle, all three sides of the triangle are equal to r. So in particular, this is an equilateral triangle, and all its angles are equal to 60 degrees. So if we look at this combined angle, we have 2x is equal to 60 degrees, which means that x is equal to 30 degrees. And again, we get option B.